hi you guys welcome back so i'm doing this fox makeup eye trend as you guys can tell and one of the things about it is the eyebrows so the eyebrows are just a little more straight than they are um like like angled down like i would normally do my brows so i'm taking my benefit cabrow eyebrow gel in the shade number five and i'm using a dose of colors eyebrow brush right now just to brush through them i'm actually doing my brows a little more like i used to do them um, i take my abh eye brush just because it's a little more dense and it applies the product a little more thickly um, and i'm just going to do the first half and just fill in those brows and it, this was so weird for me because i'm used to following my actual eyebrow shape and although i like straight brows it was just a little weird <laughs> but i'm taking my ColourPop no filter concealer on a sigma e15 flat definer brush and just going and concealing that entire bottom half also making sure out on the tail i'm really concealing that area because that is where the hairs are going to be left over um, and i'm going to go ahead and pull that down i'm also going to conceal the top i'm using the Too faced um the Too Faced concealer I forget which it, it's not the better than I forget which concealer it is but I'm using the Too Faced concealer up top and just carving out that brow making sure it's nice and crisp and also um, once again going along with the straight brow kind of trend it still looked a little more angled but I don't know I think I made it work for doing something completely different so I am going to take a little bit of brow gel this is the covergirl easy breezy brow gel and like medium I really like this brow gel but I just brushed my brows through just to give it a little more of a hair like look next I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to apply that on the outer edge you can do your entire face and then do the eyeshadow look because it's not very um it's not super crazy or super out there like it's actually a pretty simple eye look I've done something similar to it before I just didn't do the inner corner like I'm gonna do it today but always make sure you prime your lids I'm just using my ColourPop no filter concealer once again and then I always set my concealer down so that way it doesn't crease or budge or shift or anything like that this is gonna pretty much be the entire base of the look so now I'm going into the dose of colors baked browns palette I'm taking that middle light it's like really really light um, transition shade and I'm taking a morphe big fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to work this on the outer edge this is kind of gonna create a wing I guess you could say but we're gonna do the wing with eyeshadow so I'm first going on with this then I'm gonna take this uh, Laura Mercier caviar stick it's in the shade Coco it's actually a dark brown but it actually when I swatched it on my hands it has like a light shimmer to it but you can't tell like to the naked eye like when you look at it you would never ever tell so now I'm taking a moda brush uh, pencil brush and I'm just gonna smudge that out and surprisingly this caviar stick smudged out so nice like I really really like this caviar stick if I was one for like cream eyeshadows and things like that I would definitely definitely um, use that all the time but I'm just gonna go back into that same palette and take the more reddish brown shade and I'm gonna use that to smoke out and like build up the smokiness of this wing with a smaller um, more fluffy brush as opposed to a dense pencil brush it's just a little more fluffy and it's just gonna blend that out and add a little bit of warmth and then we're gonna take the dark brown shade out of that palette and take a Sigma E30 pencil brush and just pack this on the very, very, very bottom half. So really close to the lash line and also really, really close to the tape. So this is going to be like the deepest and darkest. We're actually gonna go in with a makeup geek shadow i think it's called like granite or something i'm not a hundred percent sure but it's a cool tone deep brown and i just wanted something a little darker than what that brown was giving me so i'd place this really closely and then i'm just gonna make sure that i blend this out uh i go back and forth between brushes a lot and just really make sure that everything is nice and blended and um blown out Thank you. 
So now I'm going to move on to the inner corner. This is what gives it the wing fox like look. I'm taking a Sigma, I think it's like a E something or another. It's like an angled eyeliner brush and I'm taking that in the inner corner with that same caviar stick in cocoa and just making a point. I'm taking these lashes that I use on clients. I just get them on Amazon. I clipped them in half so there's eight sections and I clipped it in half and stacked them on top of each other. And then I took another lash and just clipped the first three of the front of the lash and placed those two on. So really, really, really coat your lashes with mascara. Like I went in with mascara. This is a caviar volume and mascara from Laura Mercier. And then I'm taking that outer half and I'm going to place it right on the very 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 edge of my lashes and then I didn't include a clip though but I did go in and put on the second half of the lashes right next to it just to give it a little more cohesion I felt like with just one outer edge it didn't go very well but once I put those three and then the other stack on it really flowed and looked really nice and wing so this is it after the tape is off it looks so good <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the face and I'm going to prime my skin with the milk hydro primer my skin felt so dry and scaly I didn't apply um, a moisturizer or a serum so my skin just felt so rough so I went in with the uh, morphe continuous setting mist also just to liven my skin up make it feel nice and healthy and then I went in with the Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Fetish Foundation in Medium Deep 27. And let me just tell you guys, Pat McGrath liked and commented on one of my Instagram pictures. I was shocked. I was, I uploaded it at like five or six o'clock in the morning because I was up because I went to bed really, really early and I was just up and I was so shocked that she liked and commented my picture. Uh, so I'm applying it with a Morphe like Kabuki brush because I felt like this foundation is best applied with brush with a brush. I'm actually going more towards applying my foundation with a brush lately. I just feel like it looks so good. So I apply that, make sure I blend out the concealer above my brows as well. And then I'm gonna take this Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer and shade medium tan love this concealer i think i would love it a little bit more if it was a little less golden and a little more neutral kind of like how my ColourPop concealer is i love a more neutral based concealer as opposed to a little more golden but i still love the blendability of this concealer the affordability of this concealer like how flawless and full coverage this concealer is yet lightweight like i just really 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 love this concealer um and then i'm gonna go in with my makeup revolution bake and blot powder this powder i've been really loving usually i like to use a um like a loose powder but this powder every time i use it it photographs really beautifully it's not super super light so it does brighten my under eye concealer and my under eye but it doesn't like overdo it it's just a really great concealer at a really great price point so yeah as you can see there's a mixture of like high end high end and low end products in this video use whatever you have in your toolbox in your kit and make this beat work so this is my favorite step i love 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 bronzing contouring all of that i consider what i do a little more of a bronze than a contour because i don't use any cool tone products but i love like bronzing up my skin it just brings back the color it brings back dimension it makes everything look so cohesive everything looks so good like once i hit that forehead baby and that chin i'm just like yes all i need to do is my nose and i'm i just love it i bring it up a little higher on my cheeks because i like to give it a little um a more of a bronzed cheek kind of look and then i'm going to take my um sigma e39 buff and blend brush just to go down my nose because i felt like my nose um looked a little light because of the highlights so this is just going to add a little more structure a little shadow to the nose area then i'm going to take the bacon blot powder i just rubbed in my beauty blender that was already wet and already used in the powder and then just went down the side of my nose just to you know snatch the nose um, this is a Laura Mercier blush. This was the first time I used it. It's in the shade Rosé. I'm using a lot of Laura Mercier because I do get their PR products, but I don't usually feature them in 
this in any video but I was just feeling it today so I just whipped it out um and then of course my trusty uh highlighter from dose of colors it's called Mirame it's the Desi Katie highlighter I really love it I actually looked up the description and it actually says it's like a rose gold like highlighter I don't see the rose gold but it's my absolute favorite highlighter it's not super frosty or anything it just looks so good so wet so metallic on the skin this in the ColourPop and bay area those are my two favorite highlighters i have so many highlighters in my collection but these are the two i always go back to so i apply a little bit on my apples of my cheek so when i smile you can still see it and you can see it on my front facing profile and then i just use that same uh, moda Br blush brush just to blend everything out and then of course set the face this is the morphe continuous medic continuous setting mist this was their holiday packaging it's the same exact product but of course you just got to set your face and then i'm going to go back in with that same brush and the cocoa caviar stick and just kind of retouch everything up and make sure everything looks good i did decide to place a eyeliner in my waterline this is the rimmel london eye coal pencil or scandalized eye pencil in nude in hindsight, I probably wouldn't have done this. I don't like nude in my waterline very often. I feel like my eyes are already really big and um, punctual. And I feel like this just kind of kind of made them a little bigger and it didn't need to be. So I could have probably skipped that step, but whatever. So for lining my lips, I am going to take my um nade cosmetics lip liner in the shade lush i didn't want something super super dark but i did still want a brown lip liner so i just went in with this lined my lips really nicely and then we're gonna go in with lipstick So for lipstick, I am taking two uh, Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. This first one is, I believe, the shade Knock on Wood. It's a little more of like a terracotta brownie kind of color with a little like red orange. I didn't like the way that this looks. I never liked this liquid lipstick on itself. But once I apply Cork, which is this one, in the center, I feel like it just really comes alive and just looks so much better. So I apply a little bit and then I kind of gauge where I'm at. And then I always apply just a tiny bit more of cork she's a lighter more true nude um cork is the one that i wore on my wedding day but i like knock on wood around like the outer edge i feel like it just looks really good together and they just pair really well so that completes the video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you're gonna try out this fox trend eye makeup look uh don't forget to subscribe before you go i love you all and i'll see you guys in a next video very soon Mwah. bye